Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vin PF, and on today's episode, we're going to be heading back up to Glasgow. Now, these guys have sent me this whiskey because I reviewed a Glasgow 1770 fairly recently as part of my Somerton Club delivery. They delivered that in December of 2020. I reviewed that in January. And the guys who run the distillery got in touch with me and said, would you like to try the rest of the range? Of course I would, says I. Uh, and they have sent me the uh, original in it's in a kind of personalised form, but we'll go through that in a bit. I've also got here the triple distilled and the peated. So I've got their entire core range, basically. I'm going to be doing these, spread them out a little bit, but I'll, I'll get to them eventually. If you want to see them sooner rather than later, then make sure you hit that in the comments below and let me know. In any case, now I, up here I've got the personalised original because we've got the tripled and the peated already. Now, I didn't ask them to do this. This is a really nice touch and they've sent me over a no-nonsense whiskey original. You can get this kind of personalised however you like. You can get the original or the peated in personalised, but it doesn't cost anything extra. So for me, I think it's a nice little touch that you can, uh, you can get hold of something with your name on it or some little message or whatever. Why not when it doesn't cost anything extra? Now... They're a fairly new distillery on the block. It's uh, 2015 they open, so you know right now we're in 2021. So nothing they've released is going to be more than six years old. They certainly don't do any age statements just yet. I don't know what the ages are of these, but we can take some pretty good guesses that they're going to be somewhere in between the three and the six. Probably closer to the three, but I actually don't know. That's the point I'm trying to make there. I don't know. The three expressions, as I've mentioned, the original is aged in first fill ex-bourbon cask and then finished in virgin oak. So that's going to give it a nice uh, kind of bolder flavour, I think. The triple distilled over here, the blue one, that's fully matured in virgin oak casks. And the peated is matured in virgin oak and finished in Pedro Hemeneth sherry casks. So lots of different flavour profiles going on. And we'll get into each of them in a bit more detail when we get to them. So... This one here then is the original, 46%. It's about 50 quid, so 49 pounds I think on their website, maybe a bit cheaper, a bit more expensive on different websites. And of course the thing to remember about this is that these are 50 CL bottles. So make sure you kind of equate that mathematically in there if you're going to purchase these things. Because you know I know what you might be thinking, 50 quid for a half litre is quite expensive. It is fairly expensive, but we'll get into the value of that a little bit later on after the tasting itself. Now, one of the things that they say on their websites, I'm actually I'm not sure if it's on the, the, the box or that. To be honest with you, as you guys might know, I don't tend to read the boxes. They they look lovely, but um, although I have to say I will keep this one because it's got no nonsense whiskey on it. But stuff like these ones, once I've done the review, they'll end up in the recycling. Um, I don't really have much room on my shelves for the boxes, so I don't tend to read them. I don't really want to be influenced by marketing and whatnot. Yeah, the point was that um, they are non-chill filtered and natural coloured. And they make a big song and dance about this on the website that none of it will ever be non-chill filtered and natural coloured. And I like that. That's what you need to do. You need to mention that a bit more often. Scotch whiskey on all of your bottles. If you are non-chill filtered and natural coloured, please put it on your marketing, on your boxes, on your bottles. Shout it out and let everyone know because we love it. There you go. Let's get onto the actual whiskey and see what we've got. Now, I did say obviously natural colour, so we don't mind looking at that. I have to say it's pretty good. You know, I mean, again, we don't know the age of this thing. Um, it will be somewhere between, as I mentioned earlier, the three and the six years, probably closer to that kind of four and five year mark, obviously, because I don't know when these were bottled. I don't think they were bottled in the last few months because I've had them. So, you know, they're not going to be six years old. That's the kind of what I'm getting at. But still, the colour on that is pretty good. Um, it's first fill and virgin oak finish. We don't know what the finish is, but I imagine it's probably something like six months to a year. That's kind of a typical finishing period, but we're getting a good good color on that. You know, I've seen sort of 12 year old scotches that have a much lighter color than that. So that's, that's that virgin oak influence coming through and the first fill probably doing its work as well. Let's get onto the nose and see what we've got. Whoa, it's a really good nose. I'm gonna say right off the bat, I have to say as well, although um, this is called a fresh and fruity, I found actually it has to be sat on the side for just a, a wee while. If you um, get your nose in there too soon, it's got a, a, a quite a, not a vicious nose, it's not really fair to say, but it's, it's definitely in your face and uh, that's something I actually quite like. But now it's mellowed out a little bit. It's very oaky and very vanilla-y on the nose. Not overly so, just very. 
And on top of that, I'm getting kind of like a cereal biscuit -y note, very like buttery biscuit, that kind of thing. And then the back end, some floral notes, kind of like uh, cut flowers. I, I, I have to say, I'm not really a huge fan of cut flowers, so I struggle to pick out kind of specifically what flowers I'm talking about here. But that kind of smell you get when you walk into a room that's had a, a kind of bouquet of cut flowers of all different kinds mixed in together, that, that's what you're kind of experiencing here. Let's get onto the palette. Mm. Yeah, it's got an excellent mouthfeel. It's immediately oaky. Quite a lot of tannic elements going on there. There's a lot of that kind of oaky chariness going on. Loads more of those vanillas. And as it kind of disappears, it gets a bit more nutty, a bit more biscuity again. Now, I have to say, um, I don't necessarily get the kind of fruity elements to it. That's um, something that I'm not really going nuts on. You know, some of the tasting notes online say things like pears, and I, I kind of get that. Um, but not much more than that, I have to say, in terms of fruitiness. I'm, I'm picking on that specifically. The rest of the, of the palette is really bold and beautiful, and it's a really good flavour. It's something I'm really enjoying. Mm. The finish is long, actually. Long and spicy, kind of nutmeggy. Really flavourful. Isn't particularly drying on the back end. It's not overly sweet either, like across the whole board. It's just somewhere in the middle. Sweet and sour, mixed in. So yeah, for me, really enjoying that. Really enjoying that. It's um, It's got a lot going for it. It's very complex. Uh, I'm not sure what this tasted like before the Virgin Oak finish. I would like to, to see what that was like, see how much influence that had. But lots going on, lots going on indeed, and definitely worth uh, your time. So is it worth the money? That's the big thing. Because as I said earlier, yeah, £50 is a lot of money to ask of anybody. And it might have been a slightly easier sell if these were, were full bottles. But I have to say, I'm a big fan of newer distilleries and what they're doing. And these guys know, as well as any new distillery should know, that cask choice is really important to bring those bold flavours sooner. And that's what they're doing. You know, they're picking first fill casks and virgin oak casks. These are not cheap things to do. Uh, they're, they're a new operation. They're you know, relatively unproven, although as you'll see through the core range, they're, they're basically getting there. They just need to get the kind of brand out there a bit, which is you know, why we're making videos like this, to bring them to you. For me, I think it is worth the money. Now, if you're looking for like an age stated scotch and you know, if you're looking for a 15 year old scotch for 35 quid obviously this isn't it you know this is young whiskey although i have to say it doesn't taste particularly youthful on the palate it's being uh, covered by a lot of good cask choice and some some good bold alcoholic flavors coming through which i'm enjoying a lot but if those are kind of things that you enjoy as well then i think you'll probably enjoy this i'm gonna have another little sip now definitely worth giving them a chance and as I mentioned earlier about the core range as well depending on what kind of flavor profiles you enjoy this one is called the original the triple distilled if that's your bag you're probably gonna like that more and if peated is your bag you're probably gonna like that more so wait until I've done those videos if you're interested in in different flavor profiles but if this one's been on your radar for a little bit and you've been kind of just not sure about pressing that click button then go and check them out I've got links in the description below kind of affiliate links that help the channel out if you buy them uh, head down there and you can get the whiskey you were going to get anyway and help me out in the process. But yeah, to round all that up then, I think excellent whiskey. Really enjoying this. Loving the personalised stuff on this. All pretty cool things. Definitely worth your time. Please do go and check them out.